screaming out our name. It's a blowout. It's a hurricane. It's over. Before you know it, while you're shaking, we're a dynasty in the making. We're the royalty. Now we're breaking down the enemy. Move over. The soldiers. Take a swing. I can take a hit. If we die, it's fine. We live for this. It's all for this. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here as we get set for race number four of season six of the NSCRA Hershey's Cup Series. Capping off what's been a very exciting race weekend here at Bristol Dirt under the lights at this half mile short track. We have seen some really, really good racing in both the Tax Leader Truck Series and Pizza Deck Series. And now it's time to find out what the Hershey's Cup Series drivers are going to do. Capping off your six races for the price of three tonight. We are going to have two heat races. Two different drivers will go to victory lane and those wins will count. And these drivers goal to make it into the postseason, the playoffs, the chase for the Hershey's Cup Series Championship. Starting on the pole here in this first dual race is going to be the Nissan Altima of Brandon Gonzalez. Don't know if dirt and paint mix, but it certainly got him the pole position. Alongside of him is going to be Blaine Keys in the number 42, trying to get Sega Motorsports their second win of the season, following up the Daytona 500 victory gained by Dallas McIntosh. Highest starting rookie is going to be Elijah Gilbert in the third position, alongside of Jessica Shelton, and then Joshua Collard will complete the top five. The heat races tonight are going to be 50 laps in length, and if there's anything to go by on our last two events, we could have a nice long green flag run, or we could have drivers have a lot of difficulty with grip at this racetrack. We went clean and green the first dual race of the uh, Tax Slayer Truck Series, had only one caution during the course of the second heat race, and then we had a number of cautions in both heat races in the Pizza X Series, so... What side of the spectrum is this race going to fit on, as well as the upcoming second heat? We're going to have to wait and see. As my dogs are going nuts, uh, you can check down in the description of this video to see the starting lineup for this and the upcoming second heat race. Uh, these heats are put together based on the uh, dual races that we had for the Gatorade duels at Daytona. I kept the same amount, you know, same 21 drivers that were in each one of the dual races. That's how it determined what duel they were in here tonight. So, not quite the same system I used for the last two races. Let's get that command. Drivers, start your engines. So, as they will roll off behind the Dodge Pace car, let's give you your top 10 the points coming into this race. Dylan Young, after his win last week at Las Vegas, has taken the points lead over the winner two weeks ago at Rio de Janeiro, Kev Shearer. Then sec or third in the points is Jake Baskinger, Anthony McCurry is fourth, and Tim Walsh is fifth. Completing the top ten, Zachary Fitzwater sixth, Benjamin Miles is seventh, Dallas McIntosh, our Daytona winner, is eighth. Ninth is rookie Jordan Anderson, and Joseph Strigley completes the top ten. Our three former race winners are still inside the top ten in the points. Biggest gainer last week, 15 points gained in the standings by the defending champion, Trent Dunham. He's up to the 13th position in points. Green flag is out in dual race number one. Let's roll. Already three wide, Joshua Collard to the bottom, Shelton in the middle, Keys up top, Collard's gonna go one step further. He wants the lead, but the lap is led by Elijah Gilbert. Shelton now to the bottom, they're three wide, three rows deep, it's like a super speedway here. Shelton trying to lead the lap, she will, barely over Collard. They're almost four wide back there with Bryant and Baskinger, ooh, easy, give room guys. Oh my goodness, Richardson just drove it into the door of Blaine Keys in that battle for second. And now Keys with the crossover. This may be three wide for the lead going into three. Keys on the 
the bottom. Richardson the middle. Shelton up top. Gilbert with a run through the middle in fourth place. He's going to get to the back bumper. He's going four wide for the top spot. Shelton gets a piece of the wall. Bassinger does as well. No harm, no foul. These drivers, these cars, they can take a lot of punishment in that regard and still keep going. I don't think we've had a race car this entire week that hasn't had a little bit of damage on the right side as Chris Dodd now up and into the fall. He's going to hang on to it as the battle is on for the lead. JT Bryant looking for the top spot off Elijah Gilbert. Trying to make it back-to-back -back weeks that a young motorsports driver goes to victory lane off the hills of his teammate Dylan Young going to victory lane at Vegas. Gilbert's going to lead that lap though. Chevy, Ford, Toyota, up here the top three. Richardson sticks it way down low. A lot of blue, a lot of white at the front of the field. And then you've got Blaine Keys right there breaking up the blue party in his black Chevy Camaro, the U.S. Army Camaro out of Sega Motorsports. He's going to get by Bryant. He's going to get by Gilbert. A lot of people are going to get by Gilbert as he got the wall off the corner. Ooh, a little contact there. Shelton with a slide chop right in front of Collard who luckily didn't hook her in the right rear corner panel. Hershey's Cup Series came to this racetrack twice last season. Anthony McCurry won the first race. Dylan Young was the winner of the second race during the playoffs. And it was that win, if I'm not mistaken, that got him into battling for the championship in the final four. Nope, I'm incorrect. It was his win at Homestead that got him in the final four. It was his win here at Bristol Dirt that got him into the round of eight. Caution for the first time today comes out on lap number 11. That's not too bad. Got a nice long green flag run in there. Let's see who this one may have involved. Oh, it involves the Hyundai Sonata of Daniel Voiles. And our winner last week, Dylan Young, was collected as well. The guy who came in as the points leader. And that black smoke basically says an early night for the driver of the Universal Studios Florida Ford Fusion. Got some left side damage there on the floor of Daniel Gilbert, but that could have been from anything. So as the caution is out, let's see what happened take out last week's winner here tonight in the first heat race at Bristol. Yeah, this is what we uh, were kind of fearing could happen. Daniel Voiles drives it in deep. Car snaps around on him and boy, right up the track and squeezes Daniel Gilbert into the wall. Now Johnny Gardner and Dylan Young had lost touch with the field and they were back here and Dylan Young just nowhere to go almost literally sawed off the entire right front fender off the rear deck lid of the 26 did Dylan Young and uh, boy he tried to avoid but couldn't do it and just like that I think you're gonna have a new points leader heading into Atlanta as Dylan Young's involved in our first caution of the evening and you know it's kind of uncanny and I'm not trying to put any kind of uh, hex on Anthony McCreary in the upcoming second heat race but so far this weekend we've had a number of former winners at this racetrack get involved in something one way or another you think back to the pizza deck series race chloe erickson was a former winner at bristol dirt and she finished out of the race and now dylan young who was a former winner at this racetrack is out of the race so i guess it just shows you every time we come to bristol it's a new animal and you have to relearn it green flag back in the air blaine keys gets us back underway over shelton bryant and richardson Battle right now is going to be on for third. Richardson to the bottom. Bryant up top. Shelton trying to get to the inside, but now it's going to be three wide again. Not for the race lead, though. Blaine Key's going to hang on to the spot. He's the top side. Look at this three wide back here. Gilbert, Swrigley, Collard. Gilbert going to pass both of them. He'll move up to the fourth spot, or make that fifth, rather. Battle now on for second. Richardson has it. Bryant wants it. Shelton right there. And all this currently going on behind Blaine Keys. We do have two drivers out of the race after the wreck we just saw. Dylan Young and Daniel Voiles. Everybody else you see there is on the lead lap. Bryant takes the second spot. Now sets his sights on Blaine Keys. 
into the inside for third on Richardson as now Bryant will get alongside. Keyes won't lead that lap, but he'll have the inside advantage going here into one. New leader, JT Bryant in the 22. Trying to go to victory lane, if memory serves me correctly, since season four back at Dover. Checking that fact as Shelton all over his back bumper. And I am indeed correct, it was Dover season four. See, sometimes I'm right on statistics. Not often, but sometimes. It's hard enough for me to remember what I had for breakfast, let alone what took place a couple of years ago. Shelton now to the race lead, trying to get Retro Racing Enterprises, their first win of the season. Elijah Gilbert in the 98, trying to take the spot for Bryant, can't do it. Right now the highest running rookie in this heat. And so far this week, it's almost been kind of a rookie kind of weekend. Had a rookie P.J. Williams win the Truck Series race. Rookies swept the Pizza Deck Series race here last night with Justin Tucker winning heat race number one, Charles Jackson winning heat race number two. So it's not out of the cards that Elijah Gilbert could maybe pick up the win here tonight in this one at Bristol Dirt. We're now halfway through this race. Gilbert comes into this race 35th in the point standing, so he certainly could use a win. There's no doubt about that. Shelton now to the inside. Jessica Shelton comes into this race currently situated uh, in the... I just saw it, and I just lost it. 25th position in points. So not exactly the best start to the season. A win could certainly help her out in gaining some spots in the standings. JT Bryant there in the 22. He comes into this race... Uh, 21st in points, and James Richardson in the 11, 29th in the stands. So all these drivers up here, obviously, would love to be able to get a trip to victory lane. Richardson now to the bottom of the track. Look at Gilbert being able to get that run on the high side out of turn four. Not going to help him down here into turn one, though, but he almost snuck away that lap lead from Shelton. Ooh, contact there. JT Bryant moves Shelton out of the way. Blaine Keyes, who spent a good portion of this race out in front in the beginning stages, starting to fight his way back up towards the front of the field. Oh, trouble! Teammates! They saved it, though. Jordan Anderson off the bumper of his teammate, Zachary Fitzwater. Both managed to save it, however. And that could have been big-time problems for both those drivers in more ways than one. Right now, Jordan Anderson's leading the Rookie of the Year standings. He's ninth in points, and Fitzwater is sixth in points. Two of them did not want to have a DNF as they're both run up inside the top 10. JT Bryant back to the race lead. Gilbert into second, and now going to try and take the top spot back away from the 22. 22. One name that I'm noticing that is in the top 10, but hasn't really gotten to the front. Is there four wide? That was Srigley, Shelton, Richardson, and Keyes. It's Joseph Srigley all of a sudden making his presence felt up here towards the front as Gilbert takes the lead. But that one driver I'm looking at back there currently in 10th place is Chris Dodd in the 88. And also another former winner at this track, Jake Baskinger in the 38. They are 10th and 11th. We may not have seen the last of them. They may have something in store here in the closing stages. Three wide, that's for third. Richardson, Keyes, Swigley, Toyota, Chevy, Ford. And now here come the teammates. Anderson in the 89, Fitzwater in the 59. They're starting to make their way towards the front after that near collision they had a couple of laps ago. Bryant back to the lead. The 22 and the 98 swapping the top position back and forth. It's a game of cat and mouse going on here at the front of the field, and Gilbert again tries the inside to get the spot. And he's back there, got the wall off of turn two. Gilbert going to take the spot now, once again. And Richardson might be just lying in wait, waiting for an opportunity. Now we said it's been a week of rookies. Well, there's another rookie now up here towards the front. That's the 89 of Jordan Anderson. Don't 
count him out. As a matter of fact, last season, Jordan Anderson won the championship in the number 11 Lee Felter Chevrolet. That ride went to victory lane here at Bristol Dirt in a Pizza Hut X Series race, courtesy of Stuart Gratton. It was actually the debut Pizza Hut X Series race here at Bristol Dirt. Not saying that's going to help Jordan Anderson win this race, but it's just a kind of interesting statistic, an interesting fact, as they are three wide again for the lead, Gilbert, Bryant, and Richardson. It's been these three for about the last 20 laps or so. Is anybody going to get up here and be able to challenge these three, though? Is there a sleeper in this field? Ooh, Richardson. Got the wall pretty good that time. He loses third place to Shelton, and that may be it for him unless he can really mount a charge here in the closing stages because we have less than 10 to go. They just hit the line for nine laps remaining. Bryant back to the inside on Elijah Gilbert. Gilbert trying to keep clear of the 22. Can't do it. Bryant back to the bottom. They'll take this drag race to the line. Gilbert by a splitter will lead it. But here comes Jordan Anderson in the 89. Trying to play late race spoiler. The racing with Jesus. Chevrolet Camaro. They're almost four wide off turn four as Richardson all of a sudden is back in the battle. Oh, this is going to get hairy before it's done. You can just get that feeling. Richardson now on the bottom. Up the middle, Bryant. Anderson kicked up topside. Richardson takes the top spot for the moment. Ooh, contact there between Collard and Shelton. They save it though. Anderson up and brushing the wall. Here comes Shelton. Three wide, Bryant in the middle, Richardson topside. Who leads the lap? I think it was Shelton. Scoring agrees with me. Gilbert back to the bottom of the racetrack on Shelton. This is crazy up here at the front of the field. They're swapping the lead. Back and forth, back and forth. Gilbert leads that lap. Anderson back to the bottom. Whoa, Bryant got loose. Almost spun it, but he saves it. Look at the rookies. One, two, three, Anderson, Collard, Gilbert. Three laps to go here at Bristol. Collard now to the inside. Richardson makes it three wide. Again, Anderson way wide through the corner. Richardson to the spot. Collard slots into second. Two to go. Joshua Collard, crossover to the inside of Richardson. Here comes Joseph Srigley in the 21. Through turns three and four, white flag displayed. Collard leads the lap. Will he be leading the checkered flag though? Here comes Srigley to the bottom, trying to take the top spot. Look at Gilbert, up the middle. They're gonna make it four wide for the win. Out of turn four, who gets it? Collard by a splitter. Holy cow, that was amazing! Collard, Gilbert, Shelton, and Srigley were four wide coming to the line. And Joshua Collard holds them off barely on the extreme high side to get his first career Hershey's Cup Series victory. It truly is the week of rookies, it would appear. Oh my goodness. Look at the gap. The top four were separated by one one hundredth. Or by one tenth, rather. I'm sorry. That was crazy. Collard came into this race 22nd in the point standings. He was fourth in rookie points. Only four points out. And here in only his fourth career start in the Hershey's Cup Series, Joshua Collard is a Hershey's Cup Series winner. And he becomes the first rookie to go to victory lane this season in the Hershey's Cup Series as well. That was an amazing finish. Collard with the win. Srigley got second. Gilbert in third. And Shelton in fourth in that four wide to the line. Richardson gets fifth. Anderson sixth. Blaine Keyes in seventh. Fitzwater 8th, Bryant ninth, and Kyle Keith broke into the top 10 to get the final spot in 10th place. And you look on down through the remainder of the finishing results there. And uh, the biggest one, that DNF in 20th for Dylan Young. That will lose him the points lead heading into next week's race at Atlanta. Also out of the race was the car of Daniel Voiles. 
So that does it for our first heat race. Oh my goodness, I'm amped up. I'm ready to go. Let's get to that second heat race. I want to see what's going to happen. Collard takes the first heat. Let's see what's going to happen in the second heat. Don't you dare touch that dial. So as we get set for our second heat race, Anthony McCrory will line up on the pole for this one. And uh, keep in mind, he is a former winner at this track. As a matter of fact, this very race one season ago was when he went to victory lane. But we've seen in the past couple of races here and in the Pizza Deck series, former winners at this track haven't really fared that well here in this season's races. But he'll line up on the pole alongside of Dylan Poteet. I recall when Dylan Young won the uh, last time we were here at Bristol Dirt in um, during the playoffs. It was he and Dylan Poteet who were really battling it out for that win. And as a matter of fact, I believe Levi McIntyre was also in that conversation. So we've got some drivers up here at the front of this heat race that have pretty good numbers and some pretty good statistics and some pretty good history at this racetrack. Sean Galligan going to roll off from the fourth position, and that's a driver that really could use a good run today. Sean Galligan, former playoff contender. He is 36th in the points coming to this race. Levi McIntyre also struggling in the point standings, 37th coming into this race. So a lot of drivers looking for some rebounds in this race here today. But some of the drivers we'll have to keep an eye on in this one, this heat race, that weren't in the first heat race that are running well in the points. Kev Shearer, obviously, second in the point standings. Uh, we mentioned Anthony McCray, fourth in points. Tim Walsh, fifth in the standings. Benjamin Miles, seventh in points. So we'll keep our tabs on them. But it's time to go now. Let's go get that command. Let's get them going. Drivers. Start your engines. Another 50 laps for these drivers. And, boy, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what. If it's anything like what we saw in the first heat race, we are in for a show. We had one caution during the course of the first heat. And then went green flag the entire rest of the way, which resulted in a four-wide finish coming to the checkered flag. You have rookies in this field. And remember, so far we mentioned it's been kind of a weekend of rookies. We've got Shane Lake, RJ Reynolds, and Benny Watson in this heat race. Will we see them up at the front? Maybe being able to take their first career win in the Hershey's Cup Series. We'll see. Green flags out in heat number two. Let's roll. started on the pole, but it looks like he may not lead the first lap. Levi McIntyre, he's going to get lap number one lead in that Captain America Marvel Studios 99. Ooh, one card hard to the wall back there. That was R.J. Reynolds in the 69, so the rookie having a little difficulty here. They're four wide for second. Keith Batson took the lead. It's Shearer, Galligan, Poteen, and McIntyre all four wide for the runner-up spot. Shearer, this might be a track that you might race pretty aggressively at. You've already got a win in the bank. He won at Rio de Janeiro. He's running well in the point standings. We already know that the driver that he's trying to run down for the points lead finished a DNF in uh, 20th position in the first heat race, Dylan Young. So Kev Shearer could very well take the points lead over. Yikes. Nice save by Sean Galligan. Cole Baker's down there on the bottom of the track. they got to let him up. Like they're gonna, boy, we narrowly avoided a yellow flag right there, people, let me tell you. Nice save on the part of Galligan, though. But uh, Kev Shearer could very well lead the point standing, sending in the next week's race in Atlanta if he finishes with a solid outing here tonight in his heat race. One lap ago, Galligan was wrecking. Now he's taking second place and trying to get by Keith Batson for the race lead. Batson trying to pick up his second career Hershey's Cup Series victory. Last year went to victory lane for his first career win at Kansas. Didn't make the playoffs though. Caution is out by the way for the first time here in our second heat race. Second time overall tonight. So as we are under yellow, it's like it involved the 15 of Tim Walsh. And I don't see anybody else involved. Looks like only some rear end damage on the 15 car. A little bit of front end damage, left side damage, and right side damage. Although the, the side damage is to be expected at this track. They beat and they bang, and you very seldom get away with a pristine looking car. But 
and you're racing under the lights at Bristol. Let's see if Walsh could be able to continue. The reason we're sticking on him is he's fifth in points. And he's out of the race. Oh, boy. Not the points day he was looking for. Did somebody else just come to pit road? Yeah, Kev Shearer in the 34. Now, why is this? He just gave up the third position to come to pit road. If you don't understand this. I didn't see him get involved in any wreck or anything. Uh, we'll try and document that, follow up on that. That was his teammate, Tim Walsh, that was just on pit road and out of the race. See what's going to happen here with the 34 of Shear. What's going to go on with him? We're going to service him. Well, that's a bit confusing. But nonetheless, we're under caution for the first time here tonight. Let's see what happened to Tim Walsh. Tough break here for Tim Walsh. Fifth in the point stance. The best uh, start off to the season he's had back since season one. And there you see him get involved. And it looked like there was also a problem for Emmanuel Hartnett also sliding up the track and I believe he collected Kyle Matthews with him they hit the wall rather square though Tim Walsh hit it with the rear end and this is one of those unforgiving outside walls it's not the safer barrier that is a easy hit this is a, like a concrete barrier and it really affects your race car and apparently that was a hard enough hit to send the honey made Chevy SS behind the wall so not the points day Tim Walsh was looking for he'll have to recover Next week at a track he's won at before Atlanta, but nonetheless, a pretty uh, dismal night here tonight for Tim Walsh at Bristol. Green flag back in the air. We got back just in time. It's on lap 12 of 50 that we're back underway. Boy, Keith Batson was ready for it. He's gone already. That will be on for second. Gallagher, McIntyre, and Cole Baker. have one driver out of the race. That is the driver of Tim Walsh. Kev Shear, we saw make that pit stop. He did get back out on track and he is still on the lead lap. So we'll have to see if whatever it was they did to the 34 helps him out, but he gave up a load of track position as a result. He was third at the time the caution came out and now restarts back in the 20th position. Back in a whole lot of traffic. Gallagher into the race lead, takes the spot from Keith Batson, and now it looks like we're settling into the point of the race where we're going to see that lead swapped around quite a good bit. Now Levi McIntyre to the inside of the racetrack, looking for that spot. Batson right there, so it's Chevy Ford Lincoln battling at the front of the field currently. Rewide to the line, middle line wins out, McIntyre leads that lap. Batson has the inside advantage, and here comes Anthony McCrory back up into the fray in the 61. The only driver I've seen so far that's a former winner of this track that hasn't encountered some problems here this week with maybe the possible exception of Garrett Sidner in the Pizza Night Series race. We saw Tim Walsh out of the race. Kev Shearer made a pit stop, gave up track position. Another of the CJ Racing cars is having a good outing, though. That's Leon Alvarez, the chips away Chevrolet. He's currently up to the seventh spot, and I believe now he's taking fifth place away from Alex Drayden. Pote right there along with Joshua Sakuli. They're side by side. That's from the seventh spot. Levi McIntyre way back here. As you saw, he got way out of the groove earlier. He's almost dropped outside of the top ten now. Benjamin Miles trying to pass him for position. Back up to the front, though. Cole Baker, Sean Gallagher, Anthony McCurry, teammates, three wide for the lead. Seth Cole Baker Motorsports looking really good here this week. Elijah Gilbert was a front runner in the first heat race, finished in the top five, and now the other three drivers are also up here in the top five in their respective heat race. Try and look back and see the last win each one of these drivers had. All of them, if I recall correctly, had a win last season in the uh, Hershey's Cup Series. Cole Baker's last win was at a dirt track, amazingly enough, to coin. Anthony Curry's last win was at Rockingham, North Carolina, and Sean Galligan's last win was at Darlington. All of them former winners from last season trying to get their first win this year. Wow, Cole Baker turned that turn way wide. He'll get a nice exit off the corner, but 
That was a little crazy. As Gallagher right now firmly in control of the lead at the halfway point of this heat race. So far this season, Chevrolet Camaro's gone to victory lane once. Chevrolet SS has gone to victory lane once. And I think the caution may be out. And Ford went to victory lane once. And then, of course, now, with the win that we saw Joshua Collard get, Camaro now has a two in the win column. But the yellow flag is indeed out for the second time here tonight and just at the halfway point of this race. And it involves Charles Sanford in the 0-3. Sanford came into this race in the... 23rd position in points, had a good showing at Las Vegas last week, which jumped him up 12 spots in the standings, but he's gotten involved in it's in here at Bristol, as well as rookie R.J. Reynolds on pit road. Looks like those may be the two that may have brought the caution out. There's another driver that just hit pit road, kind of pulling the Kev Shearer strategy, and it's going to be Anthony McCrory. So McCrory gives up track position. He'll be starting way at the rear of the field. We'll have to see how this plays out for him. We're under the yellow flag for the second time here in this heat race. Sean Galligan's out in front. Let's see what happens. Seen it all week. Happens again here. This time the victim is Charles Sanford. Right there. Just snaps around on him. Nothing he can do. And that's a hard lick. And then, oh. Nowhere to go for the 69 of R.J. Reynolds. You know, I don't know for certain, but that hit was hard. But I think Charles Sanford might have been able to continue. It was then the shot he got from the 69, I think, that was enough to send him behind the wall as both the 03 and the 69 had been pushed back to the garage area. They will not finish out tonight's heat race from Bristol. So... R.J. Reynolds and Charles Sanford will join Tim Walsh in the garage now. That leaves us a total of 18 drivers still left on the track. They're all on the lead lap. I think the last driver that wanted to see that caution flag was Sean Galligan. He was starting to uh, pull away a bit from Keith Batson. So now we'll have to see how Galligan does here on the restart. Batson lines up in second, Cole Baker third, Dylan Poteet's fourth, Alex Drayton fifth, and it's Leon Alvarez, Benjamin Miles, Levi McIntyre, James McLeod, and Benny Watson. That is your top 10. So we'll see how Galligan fires off here. We know Batson's good on restarts. He restarted as the leader the last time we went back green. Green flag in the air, and boy, Batson was there. Batson timed it perfectly, and he and Galligan both I think hit the throttle at the exact same time. Galligan was not able to drive away. Batson taking a look. He's to the left rear, I think. Almost there. Nope, not quite. And now, that little slip up. Now he has to defend second place from Cole Baker. This may turn into a battle for the lead. Nope, Galligan's going to block them both. And Baker with a slide up into Batson. Now he's to the inside of his teammate for the top position. Mentioned that last year, Cole Baker was a winner at a dirt track, DeCoin. But this is not DeCoin, this is Bristol. Entirely different configuration, entirely different banking. It's still dirt, though. Got teammates back here battling for fourth. Poteet has it, Drayton wants it. And remember, I mentioned this has been a rookie type of week. Here comes Benny Watson in the 24, finished his best career finish at Rio de Janeiro, a second place to Kev Shearer. He's up in the top 10 now. Benjamin Miles, great run for the 25, seventh in the point standings. As they're three wide for the lead. Galligan, Batson, Baker. Baker almost brushes the wall, but almost battled back to lead that lap. Poteet and Drayden, side by side, not able to capitalize as Baker got the wall that time. Now he's gonna lose third, maybe fourth place. As Batson again trying to get Galligan. 15 laps to go. Here comes Alex Drayden with the 77. Drayden 14th in the points. He's had a pretty good start to the year. Trying to get his second career Hershey's Cup Series victory. Went to victory lane one year ago last week at Las Vegas. Batson 
turns the wheel hard left. He's to the inside of Galligan out of two. Drayden, though, has thoughts three wide. He'll stick it down there. Who's going to lead this lap? Galligan, topside, does. Drayden going to clear for the lead. Galligan may have brushed the wall. Battle is on for second now. Baker and Batson. Batson way up in that high groove, so Baker will keep the second spot now. Galligan down low, and here comes Benjamin Miles there. That bright yellow and red car. He's now in the middle. That's a battle with Poteet and Batson for fourth. Baker now to the inside of Alex Drayton for the top position. As we're closing in on 10 laps to go. Whoa, Miles way up the track there through one and two. He's gonna brush the wall as well for his troubles. Baker trying to clear Drayden off of four. Looks like he will succeed in doing so. 10 laps remaining, Drayden way up the track. And he's gonna get the wall off of two. Teammates, one, two. Cole Baker, Sean Galligan. Will they race like teammates or will they race like racers? Ian Alvarez has now cracked up into the top five. He's taken fourth place from Dylan Pote. Will we see him possibly pop up here at the front? Been a long time since Ian Alvarez has been to victory lane. I think it was back in season three the last time we saw him take a victory. No, it was back in season two. Holy cow. Caution. I think I, pre I think I saw the caution lights on. They are. Oh, we're going to have a shootout, folks, to finish this race. We are going to have a shootout. Oh, boy. And by the way, yes, Leon Alvarez, last time he went to victory lane, back in season two at Kansas. It's been a long time. He's now up in fourth. Baker, Galligan, Drayden, Alvarez, Batson. That's the top five as they run. To set us up for the shootout, looks like Cat Batson could have very well been the reason for the yellow. Let's see what set us up for what's going to be a doozy of a finish here in our second heat race at Bristol. Now this was pretty close to the tail end of the field. Brooke Allen side by side with Cat Batson, and it's going to be the three car that snaps loose. It has been a tough season for Brooke Allen, but uh, Cat Batson almost serving like a little bit of a crutch for the three to keep it going, and it's Cat Batson who takes the shot instead in the outside wall. Looks like she's going to be able to continue, but I don't know how up to speed that race car is going to be. Just got to try and survive it out, maybe hope for another wreck to take place in the closing stages and pick up a couple of spots on track. Nobody out of the race after that incident. Cat Batson going to continue. Kind of interesting. Remember when we had those other cautions? We had Kev Shearer come to pit road under one yellow, and then Anthony McCurry come to pit road under the other yellow. Both drivers at the time giving up spots inside the top five. Well, Kev Shearer has just now cracked the top ten. He's going to restart in ninth. Anthony McCurry is going to restart in eleventh. So I'm not exactly sure what those pit stops were supposed to achieve, but I think it's taken them out of an opportunity of winning tonight's heat race. Cole Baker is the race leader. Then it's Sean Galligan. Couple of teammates both looking for victory lane. How are they going to race each other? They may not have to worry about it because you got Alex Drayden there in third. Lee and Alvarez in fourth. And Keith Batson's been up in the top five all night long. He'll restart fifth. Then you got Benjamin Miles, sixth. Dylan Poteet, seventh. Benny Watson right now in eighth. He is the highest running rookie in this field. With Kev Shearer and Levi McIntyre completing your top 10. When we go back green, it will be three laps to go. Hopefully we won't see a caution during that point. Let's let them race to the checkers, why don't we, under green flag conditions. Maybe we'll have another four wide to the line. Who knows? Oh, boy. Reach up there. Pull those belts tight one more time, folks. Three laps to go at Bristol. Green flag back in the air, and Galligan was ready. So was Drayden. Boy, they anticipated that beautifully, but now it's a battle for second. Baker trying to hang on to the top spot. Drayden gets to the inside, though. Two laps to go here at Bristol. Alvarez trying to make it three wide for second. 
They were four wide for a brief moment for fourth. White flag will be displayed this time. Alvarez and Galligan. Drayden leading the race. Can Alvarez get there? Still side by side with Galligan as they head down the back straightaway. Drayden looks like he's got this. Through three and four. His second career win in the Hershey's Cup Series. Drayden wins at Bristol. He was on a 36 race winless streak. An even year winless streak going back to last week at Las Vegas. It was the one year anniversary of his first career win. And now just one season and one week later he gets his second win of his career. Taking the checkers here tonight at Bristol. Oh, excuse me, I think I've got the hiccups now. I don't know if the standings are official. And indeed they are. So, up to the completion of our, quotes, fourth race, we've only had one rookie go to victory lane. And that was, of course, in our last race here, our first heat race with Joshua Collard as Alex Drayden in his second full-time season gets his second career win. Sean Galligan's going to get second place. Leon Alvarez in third, two drivers that really needed good runs here today. They get him. Cole Baker's going to get fourth, and Dylan Pote was able to get the fifth position. Sixth place was Kev Shearer, seventh for Keith Batson. Benjamin Miles gets eighth, ninth was Benny Watson, and completing the top ten was Levi McIntyre. You see down through the remainder of the finishing results, three drivers finished out of the race, R.J. Reynolds, Charles Sanford, and Tim Walsh. Pretty certain based on where drivers finished here, I believe Kev Shearer will take the points lead over heading into Atlanta. So I don't know by how, how, by how much, but I do believe he is going to be the new points leader of the series. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this entire race weekend, including tonight's two heat races. If you did, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and compare the crew today. Joshua Collard wins Heat 1. Kev Shearer wins Heat 2. Two. These are your rookie points and your overall points heading next week. You'll see all three series at the D-shaped mile and a half speedway of Atlanta Motor Speedway. That should be an exciting race. You won't want to miss it. Till then, I've been Seth Cole. You've been watching a production of the NSRA Offline Racing at its best. <laughs>